So finally today is the day I am going to collect my iPhone 12 Pro and I am on my way to the Apple store and I know I am in the mask and the audio might not be clear but you have to deal with it because I can't remove the mask and I will not even tell you all to remove your mask even while you are walking on the roads because as you can see so many people pass by you so you can see like people are passing they might be old they might be young also but people are passing so I'll just say always keep on your mask when you are outside your home even when you are outside your apartment if you live in a building like me so let's go now and see what are the views of the Apple store because I heard so many good things about the Apple store that it's been decorated with all new uh, logos and boards and glowing sign boards of the iPhone 12 series so let's go all right so here I am outside of the Apple store as you can see people are sitting on the streets the crazy fans they are sitting on the streets for their turn to get the new iPhones and as you know and as you can see the COVID protocols are in place people are at two meters distance and all the employees are making sure that the lines the distance all the other rules must be maintained and people are also waiting uh, very patiently and I'm also waiting very patiently because I'm already one hour ahead of my time I came here one hour early because I also want to shoot the video so I don't want to take risk and also I have to keep all the precautions all the health precautions I have to follow all the rules also so I also came early due to that reason as well five hours later all right so last two people left as you can see so finally I will be getting my iPhone 12 Pro after waiting for around 45 minutes I was stuck in the line for 45 minutes and just two people left so I it's, it will not take a lot of time all right so the iPhone is here and just a two three minutes walk and you will see the unboxing all right so finally it's time to unbox this iPhone so first of all let me just take out the box and I know many of you might have seen the box on the social media but it's really really small and like uh, when you uh, hold it in your hand you can't uh, tell like it's a box of a typical iPhone because I also have the box of the iPhone 11 Pro Max and as you can see the difference is huge like almost it's the size of half of the box of the iPhone 11 Pro Max and you can fit like uh, an entire two boxes inside this single box packaging of iPhone 11 Pro Max so Apple is claiming that they are protecting the earth they are claiming themselves to be the sir like the sole protectors of the earth so that's good from from them but let's see let's unbox the phone and so no packaging just straight phone but if you are someone who likes to unbox the device on the roads or on the parks or on the streets on the concrete surface I will not suggest you to open the box there because you will open the box and you will just see the device so if you accidentally push harder then it chances are that the box uh, the phone or the box will fall from your hand so this is the phone uh, no uh, lamination or the any of the paper stuff on it just a normal white paper and I'll just remove and it is the Pacific Blue iPhone 12 Pro <laughs> you can see the shiny sides and it just resembles the iPhone 5 or 5s or, or the older iPhone design for your reference I'm also having this iPhone 5 this is the space gray color of the iPhone 5 and you can see the square edges and the body it's just like the elder brother of the iPhone 5 or 5 as you can say 
and also shout out to my friend Martin who reached me and I contacted him that whether he has any older iPhone or not so that I can just give you a clear reference of the design and shout out to him that he came out to me, he reached to me and although he was having work today, some contract work with some company for, for some photography but he came, he delivered this phone and yeah he also wished me luck so this is the clear uh, similarity you can see and one other thing was that you can make these devices stand on the table without any support so you can just put your device and it will stand without any support and for the design the device is just awesome look at the rounded corners uh, sorry they are not rounded uh, look at the sharp corners and look at the shiny glossy pacific blue color around the corners and now let's keep the device aside and see what apple has given in that small box so on exploring you will just see the lightning cable it is the usb-c to lightning cable apple is sticking with the old cable which they have given previous year with the 11 pro series and apart from that this is a small pamphlet apple used to give big pamphlets but this is a small pamphlet with a sim ejector tool and some manuals and as you all know like in my videos unboxing videos i usually hate the manual so it's a good change and just a single apple sticker uh, previously like i also have the stickers they used to give the two stickers but no one actually used it and I am also using the iPhones from the past four years and in the four years I have never applied or used these stickers. So it's good that they are protecting the environment, they are taking steps to protect the environment and they have also claimed to be a carbon neutral company by 2030 which is a very bold claim by a company like Apple so that's also good but the exclusion of the adapter is something that I don't like personally because they have provided us with the USB type C to lightning cable which is just one year old cable and which also came with the pro devices only so the people who didn't buy the pro devices last year will not have the adapter that will support this type of standard and luckily I am still having the adapter of my iPhone 11 pro uh, you can just say the person who I sold my device he was very nice and luckily I am having the adapter but the people will have some difficulties. I can understand that it is for the environment but they also have to think and I think like they have done somewhat decent work by also reducing the price of their adapters like they have uh, all increased the wattage from 18 watts to 20 watts and also reduced the price so that is uh, something like praiseable you can praise that but apart from that exclusion of the adapter and having a usb type c cable is a pro will be a problem for many people and i think that there will be some criticism for that and there will be some support also from the environmentalist because apple is like really moving forward like you can just see how slim the box is they are really moving forward towards a newer safer designs but uh, you also know that Apple has adopted the MagSafe standard because the back of this device is having mag magnets and this is MagSafe compatible. So I think the approach of Apple will be a wireless future in which the devices will be portless. There will be no port or holes. You will just have a MagSafe charger which you will put on the back of the device for the charging and Apple is really pushing very hardly they are trying very hard and this is the first major step in this I think like the inclusion of the MagSafe is the first major step towards the future goal of having a portless device which can charge magnetically so that is good by Apple but my initial impressions are I really really love the design the design is so much good and now let's just boot up the device so as you can see the typical Apple logo and I will set up my device like 
I will transfer my data in this but this is the first look and my unboxing video for the new iPhone 12 Pro it is the Pacific blue color I know that it's dark it's evening I just got my device it's now like 6 38 p.m. in the evening and it's dark outside so pardon me for the bad light or if you don't uh, like find the video like uh, very bright but I had to show you that device because I just got it and I was really very very excited you can see the excitement in my social media handles also but I know I have not included the camera samples also but a dedicated video is already in the works I have already planned everything of the video of the camera comparison of the camera of this new iPhone 12 Pro I will bring you the quick camera video some detailed camera comparisons video and also the full review of this iPhone 11 Pro I will use it for a week or 10 days and I will give the detailed full review of the iPhone 12 Pro even before the release of the iPhone 12 Pro Max because people wants to know that is the 12 Pro the Pro device you want to get in 2020 or you should go with the iPhone 12 Pro Max which Apple claims is having a sensor shift uh, stabilization technology and some other uh, minor camera improvements also but this is also looking like a beast and the inclusion of lidar scanner is also uh, a very big addition to that so i am really looking forward to test it out but today was the first day of the uh, like purchase of the iphone 12 series iphone 12 and the iphone 12 pro and I luckily got the chance to buy that and show it to you all through my channel I know you might have seen from many of the youtubers like they got the review units earlier but I got this device today and I know many people might have bought like who are the content creators might have got the device today only and they have given you the unboxing so this is the quick unboxing what do you all think about this new color and the new iPhone you tell me in the comment section below and come up with all the ideas questions and whatever you want to ask to me on my social media handles and i will be more than happy to answer all that but for now that's it for the video and i hope you will like this video and if you like my work and would like to support me more do like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with me for the time being goodbye guys and i will see you all in the next video really really soon and it's time to set up my new device and enjoy this gorgeous Pacific Blue iPhone 12 Pro.